What's going on guys? It's Caleb and I'm back with another video. So I found this jacket at a yard sale and it got me thinking it's time to take this channel back a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an 80s themed illustration on the iPad using Adobe Illustrator and we're going to start that off with a sketch and we're going to turn it into a vector. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, guys, let's start this illustration. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my sketch pad out and I'm just going to get some of those ideas and visions out of my head and onto something physical like my sketch pad. I find that this really streamlines the process because when I jump into the application, I'm already going to have a base and foundation started and I'm going to know where to put my strokes and outlines and I'm just going to know the direction that I'm going. So I would highly recommend you starting with a sketch. Um, it just helps your process go by faster and you know the direction you want to go. So once you have your sketch pretty much where you want it, you can take a picture of it, drop it into the application, lower that opacity. And like I said earlier, you're gonna have the foundation of your design already started for you. And you're just gonna be able to come back through like you see me doing here and adding your strokes and outlines. So I'm using the shape tool and the pen tool just to get my shapes and outlines where I want them. Once I have everything put uh, in the place that I want it, I'll be able to come back in and add some uh, colors and fills. Um, but right now I'm just getting the building blocks put where I want them because this is important. This is what my design is going to be consisted of. So I want to take my time here and I want to get everything laid out in the way that I want it to be laid out. Once I have everything outlined like I like it, I can get rid of that sketch. We're done with that. Like I said, I have the, the foundation finished and now I can come back in and I can add my fills and I can adjust my colors and start really getting into the nitty gritty of details and uh, highlights and shadows and things like that. So you see me adding some screws right here. That's one of those details that I was mentioning that really is gonna take your piece to the next level. You can start focusing on those finer things and having a lot more fun with your illustration. This is a fun color palette in my opinion. I think those colors contrast really well. I think they pop off of the screen or print. Um, and that's why I went with that. I think it helps with the 80s vibe we're going with as well, the retro feel. So. Um, I'm really happy with this color selection. I think it could have gone a couple different ways, but I like this color selection. So here's one of my favorite tools in Adobe Illustrator, and I think that the iPad version did a really good job of it, is the Shape Builder tool. All I'm doing is creating different shapes, intersecting them, and dividing them. I think the iPad version does a good job by uh, showing you previews before you cut those shapes. I was really impressed the first time I saw that on the iPad version of Illustrator and uh, I've been using it a lot since doing Illustrator on the iPad. Here's another cool tip or tool that uh, I like that the iPad version of Illustrator has provided, the radial symmetry tool. Um, this helps me knock out those spokes really quick. This would have been a pain in the butt to do uh, without the radial symmetry tool. So I think that's a really cool feature that Adobe added to the Illustrator version of iPad. So now what I'm going to do that I have all the colors and shapes and outlines where I want them, I can come back through and I can start adding highlights and shadows. This is going to give some depth to my piece. Um, I really think this is where uh, your design goes from uh, almost done to done. Uh, it's going to really impress people and it's just going to make it stand out a lot more. So take your time with your highlights and shadows, pick a direct light source and uh, just have fun with this part. And like you see me doing right here, I'm just doing some final touch-ups, uh, getting the highlights where I want them. A cool tip that I'm doing is uh, I'll create the highlight and then I'll go ahead and I'll take that stroke and I'll copy it, put it on the top layer, and that'll hide, that'll hide some of my highlights and my shadows. You'll see me do it right here. I just duplicated that layer, uh, got rid of the fill, and that was a good way to hide uh, my highlight and shadows. So now I got the piece pretty much where I want it, adding the final shadow, and boom, there it is, guys. I really like how this one came out. I had a lot of fun putting it together, and I'm really digging the retro vibes. If you guys want this file free, I'll have it in my Discord. You can use it as a desktop. You can edit it. Whatever you want, it's free. It's yours. Enjoy. Well, guys, that's all I got for you today. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up for me. And if you want to see content like this in the future, make sure you're subscribed. If you want to see content like this now, you can just go back to my older videos. I have a ton of illustrations, logo designs, rebrands. 
check it out. If you want to get a hold of me, I'll have my Discord link below. It's a great place for us to chat and just talk design. Well, guys, I appreciate you being here. And until the next time, peace. <laughs>